The post lunch high meets almost weekend energy turns my classroom into a kickback of freestyle raps, talking smack, and sharing the most recent Snapchats. The adult control part of me wonders how are we ever going to learn today? The painted shut windows block the air from the stuffy room. Brandon, it's too hot. Elijah, no, I'm cold. Jay, put on your sweatshirt, fool. Never, why you always got something to say to somebody, man? Hold up, y'all. Time to take a breath, you know the routine Four, seven, eight, breathe in peace Hold in seven seconds For the homies who ain't made it Exhale, eight seconds long, steady sigh Let go of that stress, you feel that calm Your prefrontal cortex can't function in the vortex of this angst We breathe to learn, we breathe to overcome We breathe cause Trump is president That man would rather see us locked up or dead Breath is an act of revolutions Lele, Miss Jordan, you hella crazy Right. Journals out. Where do you see modern day slavery? Romel, in schools, they don't want us to learn nothing. All right. We laugh, get back to talking smack, actively rewriting history on the daily. Reclaiming spaces that were made to oppress us. The freestyling, pre wild, mean vibe is the warm up. We create a realm where authenticity is survival. Your presence is vital for our communal success. So, whether with Legos or writing on the desk, all of us will learn today. This is not a lesson, but a survivor's manual. Most would call my classroom unconventional or downright inappropriate, but we are on the front lines of the war on poverty. And schools want to fight over cell phones, sad pants, ignore advanced intellect to enforce mediocre education. Heck yeah, I'm angry. Richie taught me the hyphy is the rebellion. His don't give a care attitude is where we failed him. So a rock is my mind decolonized. My thoughts be aligned to existing in community, not as a teacher, but a guide. Our school is a last stop shop on the school to prison pipeline. The youth are more woke than Zen or Chomsky. Any postmodern philosophy, this is hood philology on ancestral prophecies with memories sanctioned by history. Yet we feel justice despite never having seen it. It is the root, it is the truth, it is the bloom that grows through pounds of concrete like hip hop through the Cross Bronx Expressway, like Maya through the Jim Crow South, like now. I'm in a room with raw intellect, criminalized talent, misunderstood radicals. We are home in the classroom. Jemani, yo, brother Noah, chill. I got an idea. We should make a movie about modern day slavery, suspend the kid, then call it the continuation. Aaliyah, end it with the circle where we talk about getting kicked out. Kevin, heck yeah, I'ma play the principal. Jay, post it on Insta, make it go viral. This is what free education is. They are not check boxes of at-risk behavior. They are babies dropped off on the firehouse of education where the people in power perfectly create equations to hide this. Brilliance and love of your fellow sisters and brothers. We are sisters and brothers. Can you see our kids as sisters and brothers, leaders and legends, keepers of presence? They be preaching me lessons. No wonder they underfund us. The opposite of poverty is not wealth, it is justice. I imagine a world where A Block writes laws and policies through love and democracy like brothers and sisters. Let this be the prophecy. Cecilia Jordan. Oakland, Yay Area. Oh, we need you so bad. We need you to stay alive. Thank you for raising our children. Thank you for sharing your resources. We need much more. We're trying to create this black culture zone, the new reconstruction. You should ask about it. Talk to us. Stay alive. Defend our lives. Defend your life. Welcome to the Malcolm X Jazz Festival. Bringing you some good, 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 good beat. Nina Soul.